Good morning again, boys. This is my uh, white belt submission for Scotch Pain. Uh, Scotch Pain identification. Uh, the pain needles are uh, like a greeny grey colour, kind of maybe even blue colour. The uh, I don't know if you can see on this here, but um, they're arranged in pairs. They're about three to five centimeters long. And often twisted. I don't know if you can see this here. They're quite high up. As you can see on that there, the bark on the older bit of the tree is like a reddish. A reddish brown. This is maybe better here. Yeah. As you can see it's a bit grey, like a grey reddy colour. That's uh, very distinctive in a Scots Scots pine. Uh -huh. Yep, there's like big plates with fissures. Mm -hmm. Uses for Scots pine. Scots pine is very resinous, so all like the dead branches on the the lower part of the tree would be full of resin down where the branch meets the, the main trunk. They can be uh, taken off, scraped down, and used as fatwood for fire lighting. The needles can be used as for a pine needle tea, which is uh, very refreshing to some people. Others not so much. The roots can be made out of cordage, made for cordage and uh, the resin can be melted down and mixed with, mixed with charcoal for like a glue, for uh, for seeing uh, bark containers and, and such like. So, uh, Scott's pain guys, okay, bye bye.